Ever wondered what really happens to your body when you fast for 36 hours straight? Does it burn fat, reset your body, or could it be dangerous? In this video, we're diving into the science and the truth behind a 36-hour fast. What happens hour by hour inside your body, the benefits, the risks, and the right way to do it so you don't crash and burn. So what exactly is a 36-hour fast? It's when you stop eating after dinner one day, say 6 p.m. on Monday, and don't eat again until breakfast, around 6 a.m. on Wednesday. That's one full day without food, plus two nights. You can drink water, black coffee, or herbal teas. No snacks, no calories. It's an extended fast, longer than intermittent fasting, but shorter than multi-day fasts. This kind of fast is used for fat loss, metabolic health, cellular repair, and mental clarity. But what actually happens inside your body during those 36 hours? Let's break it down. Zero to 12 hours. Your body is still running on your last meal. Insulin levels drop, blood sugar begins to stabilize, and your body starts burning through glycogen, stored carbs in your liver and muscles. 12 to 18 hours. You're now moving into fat burning mode. Ketones, the byproduct of fat breakdown, start to rise. Hunger hormones spike, but they eventually level out. You might feel a bit hungry or sluggish at this point. 18 to 24 hours. This is when things get interesting. Your body enters deeper ketosis, growth hormone levels increase dramatically, and autophagy begins. That's your body cleaning out damaged cells. 24 to 36 hours. Now you're in deep fasting mode. Inflammation drops, insulin sensitivity improves, and your brain might feel sharper due to increased ketones. It's a metabolic reset zone. Now let's talk benefits. Why would anyone go without food for this long? 1. Fat loss. You're burning fat for fuel, literally using stored energy to survive. 2. Insulin sensitivity. Fasting lowers insulin levels and helps your body respond better to carbs later on. 3. Autophagy. Think of it as your body's self-cleaning mode, removing weak, damaged cells. 4. Brain boost. Ketones fuel your brain. Many people report sharper focus and better memory. 5. Reduced inflammation. Chronic inflammation is linked to many diseases. Fasting can help bring it down. All right, let's get into how to do a 36-hour fast safely and effectively. Before the fast, eat a nutritious last meal with healthy fats, protein, and fiber. Stay hydrated, avoid refined carbs and sugar before starting. During the fast, drink plenty of water. Black coffee or tea is fine, no sugar or milk. Light activity is okay, but avoid intense workouts. Stay busy to distract from hunger. Don't overdo caffeine. Don't force it if you feel dizzy, weak, or sick. Don't do this if you're underweight, pregnant, or have a medical condition without your doctor's okay breaking the fast. The way you break your fast is just as important as the fast itself. Start with something light, bone broth, a boiled egg, avocado. Wait 30 to 60 minutes before your first full meal. Avoid heavy, greasy, or high sugar foods. This prevents digestive shock and keeps your insulin from spiking like crazy. Quick but important disclaimer, a 36-hour fast isn't for everyone. Children or teens, pregnant or breastfeeding women, people with eating disorders, diabetics, or anyone on blood sugar meds without supervision. When in doubt, ask your doctor first. So is a 36-hour fast worth it? If you're looking to boost metabolism, reset your body, or challenge your discipline, yes, it can be powerful. But like any tool, it must be used wisely. Drop a comment if you've tried extended fasting or plan to. I'd love to hear your experience. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with someone who's curious about fasting.